everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango here, to review the special episode Dark Sun OVA of Persona 5 the Animation, or we could say this is technically episode 26 of the anime. So, this hour-long special, what was great, what was bad? Well, there was a few things they changed which I thought were really interesting. Animation was still what, what we expected, it has this really great moments, it has little lackluster moments, but this took the part of Shido's palace and the whole, you know, that thing going down, and the Akechi stuff, and... Honestly, what was really interesting about the Akechi stuff was that when Akechi, you know, stopped the fighting and everything and started to fight the other him, the cognitive him, he shot the cognitive him and then closed the gate thingy, whatever, and then fought the shadow whatever that were there. And I'm like, that's interesting. They changed that because what we were thought to be led to believe is that both the Akechi shot each other and they died, maybe, you know, I still think Akechi's alive, but who really knows, um, Futaba does say his signal is gone, but, you know, I don't know, I'm like, I just, I get this feeling Akechi is not dead, because they've never said that this guy's dead, if you don't see the character die, then they are not dead, so, that was a very interesting thing they changed, I thought, oh, we got to see them in the little mouse forms, that was hilariously cute, I was just like, ah, and there were so many scenes with Ren Ren in this episode that just had me dying, um, because he's so hot, but anyway, um, <laughs> oh man, the scene with, uh, <laughs> the maid, she's like, you want a massage, and he's like, and he, like, breaks the thing. That was hilarious. But anyway, on a more serious note, though, the whole Shido fight, I'd say they did that pretty well. I have to bring it out Alice. That, that was the most epic part was when he brought Alice. Like, oh, shit, it's Alice. Oh, man, what? <laughs> oh, that was really cool. And, you know, just seeing Ren be cool is always a great time. So, yeah. But overall... This OVA, you know, it ended right after they get out of Shido's palace and, you know, they the girls yell at Ryuji and boom, over, done. Except there's a little scene afterwards where, you know, Shido confesses and stuff, but then the crowd's like, no, we want Shido. Blah, 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 blah. So then it's announced that there's another special OVA thing coming. I don't really know. What was it called? Uh, Stars and R's. Yeah, I had to look there. Um, But yeah, that's a thing. So I'm assuming that's going to continue this. I'm not sure why they're waiting to like March to do it, but they are. So that's a thing that's going to happen. We also got a lot of Persona announcements recently. This is going to be a good coming year for Persona. We got the P5 Sound Bomb or what are they call it this year, it's the P sound bomb, I don't know, and then they got, uh, Persona 5 R coming, and maybe some other announcement titles coming, because there's this whole PV where, like, I guess Joker's saying, like, more games are coming, get excited or something, I have no idea, and I'm just like, well, looks like next year's gonna be a lot of Persona 5 next year, that's for sure, please give me the fighting game, fighting game, fighting game, that is actually a continuation of the story, <laughs> um, but yeah, that was interesting that we're getting more stuff next year, and um, I assume a lot of that's going to be kind of announced during that, you know, concert. They have the Peace Sound Bomb thing. That's what they did last time, so it's like, this is what I'm expecting again this time for spin-off titles. I don't really know, but we'll have to see. But man, though, this final episode, final, I use that term loosely because it's really not, because there's going to be one after it. We just don't know what that one contains, but I'm assuming it's the continuation and maybe finale of the story, because... The way they fit all this into, like, this one-hour special, honestly, they did it pretty well because it is hard to fit the last lot of hours into, like, they did skip a lot, I will admit that, but it was kind of minor stuff that was okay to be skipped, like, for instance, how they figured out Shido's Palace is a uh, luxury cruise liner and everything, you know, Ren just instantly knew, he just said it, they went in, they did the thing, boom, 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 but... You know, I get why they did that, because, you know, time constraints, and it's like, you know, if you want the full stuff, you know, you can go buy the game, you can go play it, it's great. But, um, <laughs> anyway, I really do feel like this anime is made for, you know, people who play the game, who just, you know, want to see certain things animated, which, I mean, that's why I watch it, because I'm like, I want to see these things animated, I need to see Red and Red animated. <laughs> but anyway, um, I did really enjoy this, it was very enjoyable, I have to say. They, you know, with what they changed, and what they didn't change, and everything, it's just, I, I really did enjoy it. Um, I'm very excited for whatever the next thing is and everything, and that's really all I have to say. So, what did you guys think of this Dark Sun special OVA thing? And, again, Akechi did, well, okay, he did things wrong, but he's still a good character, and he shouldn't be dead. It's, I will defend that guy, because I feel bad for him and his orphaned life, and everything he explained in this episode, I'm like, you, you poor thing, you. But anyway, what did you guys think of this episode? And I'll see you guys in whatever Let's Play, review, whatever video I do next is. Bye!